What's up, YouTubers of the world? Mega Geek Mixer here, and I'm here to give you guys my predictions of what will be happening in Black Lightning Season 2, which comes out today. But yeah, let's get right into it. First off, Season 1 was great. I love the whole whole thing when Jefferson Pierce was saying, whose life is this? And how are you going to live it the way I want? I think that's how it was said. If it not, please let me know it, how it was said in the comment section down below. But either case, I loved the sound of it, and I loved the, the whole message it was sending about b police brutality, gang violence, and how uh, Black Lives Matter. It was a great season. As a matter of fact, in, in the early years, I was saying that it was, it was the year for black superheroes in the realm of Black Lightning and Black Panther. Great movie and TV show, but let's get right into what I'm really here to talk about, and that's my predictions. First off, my predictions of what's going to be happening with Jefferson Pierce. First off, I expect there to be a consequence in after him facing the aftermath of the school attack that happened when Tobias Well and a former student of his, Khalil, <laughs> Khalil attacked the school, who is now going by the name Painkiller. <laughs> yeah, and... It, one thing I also got to wonder is what's his relationship going to be with Painkiller going in it since it was Painkiller pain who actually killed Black Lightning only to be saved by his daughter, Jennifer, Khalil's ex-girlfriend. <laughs> but yeah, either case, the attack will no doubt have a lot of pressure on Jefferson Pierce as principal going into it. And no doubt he, he's going to be needing a lot of help figuring out how to deal with this and trying to make sure nothing like that happens again. Because people are probably still wondering, why did they attack that place? <laughs> yeah, they probably still don't have answers as to why they would attack it. And they'll pro and of course, since he's the principal, they're going to no doubt be looking at him as that, wondering how that happened and try to make sure it doesn't happen again. And and now also, another thing I hope to look to, they explore more in Season 2 is more on the relationship that Jefferson Pierce and Peter Gamby are in their relationship like what's their relationship now i mean last season it was a, it was a little strain after jefferson pierce found out that it was indirectly peter gamby who got his father killed and peter gamby has since been taking care of him he's like us he's like a son to him and no doubt jefferson pierce saw him as a second father but even still after everything that's happened he even admit he probably can't forgive gamby for what he did but he wanted to find new, new explorations, a new ground. <laughs> and so far, that new ground that they, they show for him is right now still on the strange spot. And especially after Peter Gamby killed that ASA person, the one who was in charge of him before, before coming back again, after he killed him right in front of everybody. No, that, that's still going to put a strain on them. I do hope, though, in the end, they work things out. Especially before Peter Gamby dies. That's another prediction I have in Season 2. That somewhere along the line, maybe at the end of Season 2 or somewhere during Season 2, Peter Gamby is going to be is gonna die. He's going to die, yeah. I would like to hope not because I like his character. <laughs> He's a, I like his character. He's great. I mean, sure, does he does questionable things? Yeah, but he does it out of the love he has for Jefferson and his family. And when it comes to the people you love, you do some r pretty crazy, crazy stuff. Yeah, <laughs> and don't and don't deny that. Y'all know that sometimes y'all do questionable things, even for those you love, even if they may not approve of it. But either case, that's one. That's my predictions, kind of going in for those two. Let's go into my predictions of what's going to be happening with Thunder, Anissa. Yeah, Anissa, aka Thunder. In season one, she was one of the best things in season one. Her coming into her powers and knowing her character, all good. The only downside with season one is we didn't get to explore more of her being being a lesbian. And being, for that matter, the first African-American lesbian. Now, we didn't know about her, about it. She had a girlfriend in the beginning of season one, but they broke up. And she started seeing Grace, the bartender and librarian person, who in the comic book version, Grace and Thunder actually are together they date each other and they also are a part of the team known as the outsiders now we still haven't know 
don't know if Grace has powers in this because she was only shown for a few seasons. And they only focus more on Anissa's character as a superhero going forward instead of her personal life. Which is one of the things I hope for in season in season two. Because it has been confirmed she will have a new love interest. And that's pretty much showing that we'll be having that. But that but what we do know but the question that'll also be put on our minds and no doubt will be explored in season two is is this the same person? Because I'm pretty sure they confirmed it's not gonna be the same person. It's gonna be a person named Zoe B, who isn't necessarily looking for a relationship, but that makes you think predict that maybe there will be a love triangle between those three anissa grace and the zoe b person i guess that's what we'll have to a answers for us in season two which is what my prediction is mostly for her in season two now what will she be doing as a superhero more Nah, i don't really know what yet because we really explored a lot of her in season one so i'm not i haven't really been thinking too much on the predictions for that one but let's go into her sister, Jennifer Pierce. Now, one thing that's been confirmed is that she's still going to be trying to come into her own with her powers. Because she's still, no doubt, she still doesn't like them, doesn't accept them. So I'm guessing she's going to have to maybe fi find a way to get used to these powers. That's where actually I have been told, I have found out, not been told, but found out, she'll be meeting someone who can help her out with that. And also, no, no doubt this season, another big prediction I'm pretty sure is obvious to everyone is that she and Khalil are going to be crossing paths and there's still going to be some strainness there. I highly doubt they'll be getting back together, but whether they'll be enemies or not, <laughs> I think that's the road they're going to be exploring for us in season two, especially with the fact that she killed his, that Khalil killed her, killed her dad. Or in this case, we'll pro she'll probably put it as nearly killed her dad. That's probably not going to still fly. But as they saw in season one when she was talking to Peter Gamby, there's still she still believes there's some some part of Khalil that's still in there. And who knows, maybe there is, and she'll be able to try to bring it out. But also with the fact that Tobias Well has already put a big influence on Khalil and made him be able to walk again, is one of Khalil's story arcs going into this season, my prediction of his story arc. Trying to fight his gra the grasp that Tobias Well has on him so that she can go back to Jennifer, probably even go back to having his life back, maybe, but pro most likely probably not. It wouldn't surprise me that if he did go back, Tobias Well would make him lose his ability to walk. But let's right now go into, yeah, Tobias Well, who did... Who is a great who is a great villain as a matter of fact i kind of look at him like the kingpin in the black lightning universe that just has daredevil just like wilson fisk is and daredevil because <laughs> yeah at the end he ended up getting this case that was needed to get those get these kids who had who had powers all because they had green light out there green light that was given to them by the government group known as the ASA, which Peter Gamby used to work for. And no doubt he'll still be, he'll be using that to probably cause more metahumans to appear. But not only that, but to probably build an army. That's what I'm predicting. He is making an army for his little underworld group since, yeah, like he's trying to be put in charge. He won't, because that's the one thing we were noticing in season one. He wanted to be at the top of the ranks of the criminal underworld empire. And my best guess, best way to build that empire is to get some of these green light kids with metahuman powers growing in them to, the, to his side. <laughs> that is one of my predictions for season two of Black Lightning when it comes to Tobias Well, which will no doubt get Black Lightning a run for his money, probably even to the point where he needs to form his own team, which is where I believe where the outsiders will slowly start to form. And speaking of the Outsiders, they have confirmed that an Outsider will be joining the ranks in Season 2. A character by the name of Looker. In the comic book version, her real name, Emily Briggs, and she was a bank cleric with an ordinary life and married, but she didn't. She always was concerned with how she looked and thought she wasn't good enough for her husband. And eventually, she was kidnapped by a group known as the Ab Abyssia, Abyssians. Abyssians, yeah, Abyssians, who are in an underground city called Abyssia, and she ended up getting powers from them. 
Now, I forgot what those powers were. It's been a long time since I looked up on Looker back when I read Bl Batman and the Outsiders. So I'll have to get back on that so I can remember her powers and try to guess what her powers could be going into Season 2, if she has powers, or if she might become one of those green light -like victim kids. Yeah. But, hmm, do I have anything more that I'd like to put in there? Mm-hmm. Maybe not. I think I pretty much said all I needed to say about each of the main characters going into Season 2 and what to expect of them. I could go into more about some of these other characters that'll be popping up, but that'd be too long, and I and I gotta go see the Venom movie, and I'll be sure to give you guys my review on that right after I've seen it. But until then, let me guys know what your thoughts are and predictions going into Season 2 of Black Lightning. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below, and if you like my videos or are seeing me for the first time, subscribe to my channel by clicking on this button right here, and also click that bell icon to be notified of when I make new videos. And until then, Mega Geek Mixer is signing out. Bye!